In this lesson, you will learn to prove that exponential functions grow by equal factors over equal intervals by showing algebraically that the factor does not depend on the particular x-coordinates involved. You already know that exponential functions have equations of the form y equals a times b to the x, and that the graphs of exponential functions look like these. We're going to see the graph of 0.25 times 2 to the x power. When x equals 2, y equals 1. And when x equals 4, y equals 4. So on the x interval from 2 to 4, which is an interval of length 2, the graph grows from 1 to 4. Let's look at the interval that goes from 5 to 7. When x equals 5, y equals 8. And when x equals 7, when x equals 7, y equals 32. Notice that although the lengths of the x intervals are identical, in the first y interval, the growth is a growth of 3 units, while on the second one, the growth is much more than 3 units. However, if we consider the growth factor, the growth is actually the same from this point of view, because from 1 to 4, the growth factor is 4. In other words, you have to multiply 1 times 4 to get to the result of 4. Similarly, you have to multiply 8 times 4 to get to the result of 32. In this lesson, we're going to prove that for any exponential function, equal intervals will result in growth by equal factors. Let's call the lower endpoint of this interval w. And let's say that the interval is k units long, so that w plus k is the upper endpoint of the interval. To find the y-coordinates, we use the equation since the ordered pairs that are on the graph satisfy the equation. We plug w in for x, and we find that the y-coordinate would be a times b to the w. Similarly, we plug w plus k in, a times b to the w plus k. We suspect that the factor by which you have to multiply the lower endpoint to get to the upper endpoint does not depend on the specific value of w. To test this, we find the ratio. We divide the upper endpoint by the lower endpoint. We can divide numerator and denominator by a. And to divide powers with the same base, we subtract the exponents. The growth factor is b to the k. This means that for this function, as long as the interval on the x-axis has length k, b to the k will be how much we have to multiply the lower y-coordinate to get to the upper y-coordinate. Note that b to the k does not depend on w. It does not depend on the location of the interval whose length is k. This proves the function will grow by equal factors over equal intervals. Let's repeat the proof for a specific function. If we want an interval of length 5, then we would use w as the lower x-coordinate and w plus 5 as the upper x-coordinate. The y-coordinate is 2 times 3 to the w. The y-coordinate is 2 times 3 to the w plus 5. To find the growth factor, we again form a ratio, putting the ending y-coordinate on top and the beginning y-coordinate on the bottom. We can again divide. We can again subtract the exponents. 3 to the fifth, which happens to be 243. This means that for this function, any time x grows by 5, y will grow by a factor of 243. Now you know how to prove that exponential functions grow by equal factors over equal intervals.